We are here now with Jeanette Rollison, author of My Fair Godmother and a KNTR book, My Double Life, among others. And um, of course, my first question is, <laughs> is this how you dress regularly? Yeah, only when I want to embarrass my teenage children. <laughs> this works pretty well for that. <laughs> or when I'm promoting one of my uh, fairy godmother books, then I get to be, you know, wing, wingful. <laughs> wingful, <laughs> a new word, wingful. <laughs> Authors can make up words. It's, yes. It's our prerogative. <laughs> and uh, what was the first book you ever wrote? Oh, uh, 14 years ago, I wrote a book called Deep Blue Eyes and Other Lies. It was a young adult book, and I've kind of, I've done romance on young adult, but I'm pretty much staying in young adult now because it's fun to write about kids. So you like writing about kids. It's more about writing about kids than for kids. Well, both, because when you're writing about kids, they're for kids. Mm -hmm. But, you know, teenagers are just really fun to write about because they get embarrassed so easily. <laughs> Everything yes. is so important and dramatic. And, and, and when you're writing romantic comedies, then you want people who can embarrass easily. So the reason I ask that is because many authors tell me that they don't actually write for children. It's just that's how it comes out, that they're, the stories they're telling it, it, it's not necessarily whether it's for an adult or a child to read. They're just writing the story, and then it's, it turns out maybe it uh, appeals to young adult. Do you find that's the case, or are you really specifically writing for that author? Both. Um, there are some stories that you know you want you'd write regardless, and the characters are whatever age they are. But I also have five kids. Um, and daughters who love to read, so I want there to be good books for them. I write the kind of books that, that I know they enjoy, which are you know, light, funny books. They're not dark, angst-filled, people killing themselves, um, you know, that sort of thing. They're, they're the kind of books that my kids like to read. So, And my daughter will, when I'm writing something, she will read it off of my laptop and tell me to write faster. And, <laughs> That's you know, great. Tell me which guy she wants the girl to end up with, that sort of thing, too. So do uh, they critique for you? Yes. That's, I would imagine that's a great resource yes. to have. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, and better yet, they do dialogue and stuff because oh. you can just stalk them and their friends. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I once used... Uh, you know, my daughter's cell phone and took dialogue off of her oh text gosh. messaging. That's kind of like... Gold. They're gold. Every <laughs> author should get a teenager. That's kind of like getting into their diary. Yeah. You know, nowadays, get yeah. on their text. Ex except for I can open their diary. I can't work their cell phones without their help. <laughs> Fairies don't do that kind of thing. We work in magic, not technology. Oh, there so. you go. Well, thank you very much. We thank re you. Re really appreciate you coming here today. It's been fun. <laughs>